So I'm gonna try to make 100 grams of tin bronze. So first thing I'm gonna do is start out with 90 grams of copper and 10 grams of tin source. It's not 100% tin. Most of the time it's upwards of 90 at least. Um, so I'm just uh, treating it as tin and I'll keep adding until I get to 10. Of my pewter from the thrift store. Um, it's really cheap. If we're gonna buy tin, be a lot more. Um, but these old vases and mugs and such um, work great as a pewter. This is a new hammer handle. I'm loving it and I'm using it um, to flatten out my copper pipe because um, obviously it won't fit in the crucible like this, so um, that'll fit much better. Pretty simple forge, um, some black pipe. Um, if this catches the ashes that might fall. This is the air intake, and the air comes out here through these eight holes um, into the bed of the forge. So I'll start off the forge with some wood. Leaf blower is amazing, um, and it acts as our bellows to get it hot enough to melt the copper. So after it heats up enough, I'll add some coal in there. Um, and I also have some of this uh, leftover from the last um, burn. I like to keep it because it's kind of half burnt, uh, so it's poked. Um, it should light easier and burn cleaner, actually. Um, sort of like charcoal, um, except made of coal. Not enough for coal, so here it goes. Start out with just the copper because the uh, pewter will oxidize away very quickly. So that'll go in at the, at the end. It'll also melt quickly. Oh. So right now, most of the coal is just sitting on top of the forge, um, and so it's it's coking a little bit. Now I'm going to start chopping it up. Um, to get airflow and also surround the crucible. The copper's glowing, but as soon as all of it melts, I'm going to add the tin, wait a little bit, and then pour it. at the bottom and it's growing. It's all liquid now is in. It's solidified at this point, uh, but it's still very hot. So it looks like there's a lot of plasticky stuff on the inside of the can that I was using as a mold, um, but I'm pretty sure it'll all uh, come to the top and slag. I doubt it got mixed in. Even the rotor on the forge is glowing red. That's what it looks like cooled, and we're going to try to rinse it out just a little bit. Um, get some of the soot out and try to figure out um, I'm going to actually get it out of here because I'm afraid it may have sort of brazed itself in there. So I'm going to try to use a can opener first and wow, it's uh, softer than a normal can. Um, I'm going to try from the edge instead. And well that maybe it helped. I'll try to pry this off now. Um, this is kind of working. Um, pulling away. Um, that's the bronze down there. And here we go. Um, steel is still on the bottom and still need to grind more off the top. Uh, it's definitely stuck on there. And after uh, belt sanding it, you can really see that bronze color coming out. I really don't want to have to grind off all of that steel. Um, I might try hammering it, um, bending it back and forth a little bit. It might help separate, um, but yeah, it's pretty stuck.
found a little crack um, here. Maybe I'll be able to use that in a chisel to separate a little. It's totally fused, so I'm just grinding it off now. So there's still a little bit of steel left, um, but I'm noticing some pits um, in the surface here, uh, probably from gases um, at the bottom of the can that got trapped, uh, trying to escape. Uh, now I'm getting rid of these uh, few last bits of steel. I don't want to have to grind off all that material just to get to the last bits, so I'm just using a Dremel um, cleaning up. So here's the bronze. I've gotten rid of all of the steel. Um, this should be just about pure bronze. And the scale tells us um, about 90 grams. So it looks like uh, we lost 10 grams, probably because of all the grinding I had to do. Um, I actually did weigh it uh, before um, grinding this face off and, and it was about 100. Um, and some of that was the steel, but I'd say it's a pretty good yield. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be casting in a steel mold anymore, uh, but I'm super excited um, that now I have a piece of bronze to work with. Maybe I'll melt it down, make something else. Maybe I'll just pound it into a, a bronze sheet. Um, but it's been a really fun project, um, and I think it turned out really well.